So hello everyone, my name is Jim Black and welcome back for some more for Walking Dead. Right, who do we need to talk to? Oh, oh, that's okay. Let's talk to da Danny. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Uh... Not much, I guess. Exactly. Oh dear. Uh... How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Alright, then. Pardon me, Brenda. What's on your mind, Lee? How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Seems a bit rude, but um, it's a good question. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. Okay. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. It sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. I think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against fence before too long. Hmm. Can I go see Clementine? I wanna go see Clementine. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. Right, I have something for you. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, um... Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids?
I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, Andy. thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. What's going on if I can't? Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. Um, they got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look. That guy with Kachina, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. Uh, All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what Let's we're dealing answer. with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Uh, let's see if we be honest. What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. But we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hmm. button hit the J to subscribe to my channel and as always I will see you all next time.